seen from my Instagram stories that I started doing a YouTube video, um, and this is it about uh, the frustrations, I guess, that you, that you get with it. And I'm, I don't really know where this is. Uh, I know where this has come from, um, but I don't really know where, where it's kind of going. If that, if that sort of makes sense. The um, oh, fuck, that's not great. You'll have seen from my Instagram earlier that I did. Uh, I started doing a, a story about some frustrations that I'd come across, and it's. One of the big problems as an entrepreneur or as a businessman um, or business person, one of the biggest issues when you run a company is other people doing jobs. And it's really difficult for, for you as the, as the owner, but it's also really difficult for the team. And the reason is this, nobody will ever do the job as well as you could do it, potentially. Now that means that the way I look at things is I'm very, very good at what, what I do, and there's, there's not really anybody in my organization that can do what I do quite as well as I do. There are a few, the tour guides and stuff like that and such. And that's not to take anybody down the organization or any of my staff. It's not. It's just the experience and everything that I bring. And knowing exactly how I want it delivered gives me a, a head start, if you will. Because nobody else knows exactly how I want it delivered until I explain it. And then even then it's a little bit different. But... You can't do everything. You, it's just not possible. So you have to spread different jobs into the teams. Um, and it's really hard for the staff because they feel like they can never reach, they can never quite achieve what I want them to because I always benchmark it to my standard. Um, and that's really a hard, high, high standard to hit. So it's frustrating and difficult for everybody. It's about finding that balance. And the trouble is what then happens is frustrations creep in and that breeds a really negative working environment that's not where we are at the moment but just to give you an example um, we're recruiting at the moment um, and I'm very particular and I'm very um, descriptive about the type of people we want so at the moment we're recruiting for a few different roles um, and I'm looking very specifically for people that are passionate people that are driven people that are dynamic people that are customer focused those are kind of the four attributes I'm looking for with a hunger a real hunger to want to do something um, and, and my team know this, everybody knows this, This is we've had lots of conversations about this, these are the attributes we want and I'm not looking for somebody that's got years and years of experience in customer service or years of experience in health and safety or knows loads and loads about ghosts or knows loads about the history of the prison or anything like that. What I'm looking for is those five key attributes effectively um, and it's, it's about how we then push that and the job ad that we've recently created doesn't push that to the forefront it gives a description of what we're looking for it explains what we're after but it doesn't make it sound fun or exciting and it doesn't drill down to what we want which is those five those five attributes and then i get frustrated because the communication message we've discussed has not been pushed forwards and therefore what we end up getting back is people applying for jobs that is not really the type of person we're looking for and if they do get employed, they don't last because they don't hit those five key attributes. They're never going to make it in our organization. Um, so they last five, six months maybe, and then they're, then they're gone, um, and then we have to recruit again. And it, it costs time and money, and it's, it's just really frustrating from my perspective. But I know it's frustrating from my team's perspective because it's about how we maintain that professionalism, how we portray that to the market, is in people looking for jobs, um, how we protect our brand and make sure it's, it's at the forefront of what we do and make sure it's, it's, it's done appropriately and how we allow Joel to do what Joel does, which is I cut through the tape, I cut through the bullshit um, and I like to get to it. So what I'm really looking for in, these, in, 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 in employees is those things. It's looking for drive, passion, dynamic, customer focused and people that just want to do something. They need to be hungry. That's the key things for me. Um, so I guess this video is a bit of a mix between um, the frustrations, and it's not. That's just an example that came up today. There's loads of those, and it's difficult for the business owner, and it's really difficult for the team. And I think having those open. And tomorrow in the morning, I'll have a very open conversation with with, with two or three of my directors, and you know we'll we'll, we'll talk about this, um, and we'll get it, and we'll get it out in the open, and we'll get it all sorted, and, and and things will be smooth because you know we we discuss our problems, we discuss the issues, and then we then we move forwards. Um, but yeah, it's it's, it's difficult. Running a business is hard, um, but it's enjoyable. I wouldn't do anything else, 
ever. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's Motivational Monday, so very excited. Full tours today, so I'm going to go back down onto the ground in a second. Um, and I'd just like to share those little, those little snippet lessons. Um, so five minutes and we're, we're done. So, Motivational Monday tomorrow.